Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can make um, such kind of pictures just to give you, you know, ideas for your own project. Let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop. Let's open up a new document as always and we choose a size of 100, 800 to 800 with a transparent background. There we go. Now um, what we want to do is uh, reset our colors by hitting the D key and then we want to switch them by hitting the X key. So white is here, black is here. Okay. Now we want to um, choose our gradient tool and draw a, a line from the center to the edge here. Now if you're having troubles, you know, getting the exact center you can bring up the ruler by hitting ctrl r and then you simply drag from the ruler one line here and photoshop will snap it in the middle and snap and now you can draw your line and know that you're absolutely correct there you go now uh, just cho choose the, your move tool to get rid of these Control R and there we go. Now you want to go to filter, uh, choose distort, twirl and you want to choose an angle of 400 with a percentage here of uh, 25 and it should look like this. Once that's done we want to hit Control T for the free transform tool and by uh, pressing the Alt key and dragging from the center top down we just resize this a little bit to get more perspective feeling mm, just a little bit now we want to go to image adjustments uh, hue saturation um, select colorize very important and then you choose the values of 198 here and 48 for the saturation Okay, and we hit OK. Now we have a sh uh, shiny blue here, nice color. Now we want to go to our brush tool, and you select a brush and um, which is in your presets. Uh, so it comes with Photoshop, uh, at least CS5 as far as I know, uh, which is called Star. 70 pixels and we select that go to our set brush settings and we want to make sure shape dynamics and scattering is enabled and your brush should look something like this now if it doesn't I assume you already played around with the settings and uh, you know just uh, play around until it looks something like this um, you get the hang of it very quickly now um, that we have that we want to create a new layer and uh, go to our pen tool here and we want to draw a path on one of these lines now we just you know begin from the center here and we draw our path if you made a mistake uh, you can um, press control and just move your points and release control and make your next one Now you see I'm not very talented with uh, the path tool yet, but I will get the hang of it. There we go. Now once we have that, um, we can right click uh, the path and select stroke path and make sure simulate pressure is enabled and your tool is the brush and hit OK and there you have it you can hit enter to get rid of the path 
a nice uh, shimmering uh, shiny effect yeah well now we're gonna do this for uh, all the all these lines here and once I've done that I will get back to you so bear with me alright as you can see I've done all these strokes here now we just wanna shift click the other layer here and hit Control T so we can resize this a little bit alright now we wanna add a new layer and uh, fill this with with a black color you can um, take the paint bucket tool but you can also hit control backspace and it will fill now you go to filter noise and you choose add noise and you want to make sure this percentage is down to tw about 26 and the amount set to 42 ish choose a distribution of uh, Gaussian and make sure monochromatic is selected hit OK change the blending method to screen of this layer here now there's way too many stars to look kind of realistic so we want to adjust this we go to image adjustments and we um, choose this here threshold I don't know how to pronounce that anyway you can see it now just play around with this slider here to get the exact amount of stars that you want now this looks about right now what you want to do is um, make this uh, glowing effect of um, your universe or whatever this is less um, you know squarish so we just add a mask but make sure you add it to the correct layer and we just paint with um, our normal brush uh, soft round with a black color and just you know give it more of this uh, spiral form and if you make a mistake you can always bring it back with a uh, painting white that's uh, the advantages of um, masks all right uh, well that's about it you can you know play around with this it's just uh, basis and you can always find the uh, link to the actual tutorial in the description and I hope you you enjoyed this video uh, so please rate comment and subscribe